So let's take a look now at some of the new features in Autodesk Vehicle Tracking 2019. So you can see we have a vehicle tracking roundabout here and when I look at the roundabout properties we have some new settings for the splitter island construction. So when we define the splitter island not only can we set the dimensions of the radii here but we have different target types for the splitter island itself so I can select the central island as a target or the apron of the center island or the edge of carriageway the inner edge of the traveled way as it's called here or the inside of the outer lane of the roundabout so those are the targets that we can use for defining the splitter island of course we can change the radii here for the definition of the island and at the bottom of the screen you'll see there is an option you can turn on to maintain the ratio between those values and the ICD diameter so if we change the ICD the other values update automatically we also have settings for the outer edge of the uh, road lanes where the splitter island are so we can select arcs or tangents or single lines etc and again we can type in the various dimensions that we need to define those also again at the bottom we have ratios that we can maintain between those values and the ICD diameter we now have some new settings for splitter island crossings so we can define a crossing on the splitter island without having to put a pedestrian crossing on the roundabout so we could create for example a bridged crossing and enter the dimensions required for that or we could use a projected crossing or we could use a refuge and have perhaps a staggered crossing on the splitter island so if I apply my chosen values the roundabout itself will update and if you make some inappropriate choices you'll notice you get a warning symbol it says in my case insufficient space for the island crossing and you'll notice the crossing is uh, way too far down the splitter island so let's go back into the roundabout properties again and we can just modify our settings so if I just change the type of this to projected crossing and when I apply and close you'll see it'll place the crossing in the splitter island we also have some settings that control the transition positions of the gradients on the entry and exit lanes you see that indicated there as a red dotted line so we have the other side here as well and notice they're not opposite each other and if I go back into the roundabout properties we now have some controls over where those are placed so on the levels and gradients options here we can change where the crown lines transitions take place so I can place those for example at the blend point or I could place them at the deviation point or at the splitter deviation point and you have independent settings for the entry and also for the exit lanes so I'm going to set them both to the blend point and when I apply that you'll see that those transition locations where the lanes start changing their crossfall to meet the roundabout I've now set that way back at the blend point of the arm so that gives you uh, an overview of some of the features that have been added to Autodesk Vehicle Tracking in 2019. I hope you found it useful. If you need more information on these or other Autodesk 2019 products, please visit our website www.excitec.co.uk. Thank you for watching.